satellite imagery is is just beautiful. Look down at this this beautiful um, pattern of greens and blues and lines and and that dendritic shape being formed over and over again and the ways the, the, that water are, are pushed across our planet. That itself is, is, is gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. I feel like we've been on this planet a very short period of time. I took a string and I measured it to be the length of how long scientists predict the Earth has been around. It was really long. I think it, the string was like 22 feet long. The end of that string is, is about three inches, which is when humankind you know, came into the mix. And at the end of that string, there was about, uh, uh, about this much from when the Industrial Revolution started. So you think about how much the earth, how long that string is and how just that little tiny section is how long we've been on this planet and how much damage we've done. We need to really be thinking about what we're doing and um, what the future holds for us. One day I was flipping through National Geographic and came across an image of these guys in Indonesia. They had a dead bird on their head and they were rising up out of the water. And using the bird as a symbol, the barometer of the health of our planet, I found it really striking that this was a human being that looked otherwise blinded, being led by a bird. The skirt of ice that entraps his body is a two-part epoxy, probably the most toxic thing I'd, I'd ever worked with. And I did that on purpose because by and large, the main problem that we're having with pollution in our environment is um, the manufacturing of these petrochemicals.